about getting bit, the gator has his own way to gain control of perk. Trust me. Watch it, man. Watch it. And ooh, ooh, ooh. that was close. We got him. Folks, put your hands together for him. Those of y'all ever find an alligator crossing the road and want to take him home, you know what to do. <laughs> Don't call Bert, we need him here. Hey, you know, from here, we can show you a lot more about the alligator if you can see well enough. At the end of the snout are two little openings, the nostrils. That's where that hissing sound was coming from, air being forced out. And that's where they get their air. Being air breathers, they hold their breath beneath the water, and they can hold it over an hour if they need to. Sooner or later, he's got to come his eyes are on top of the head now. Makes it hard for the gator to see in his mouth, but that allow them to sneak up to their prey. You don't even see them coming to keep that big old body beneath the water. Just have a little eyeball sticking up. They even have ears. One on each side of the head, covered up with this little flap. <laughs> Lift the flap up, look down inside. Their hearing, their eyesight is excellent. They use them both when they hunt, and it's mainly at night that they'll choose to hunt. Usually smaller animals and other reptiles, snakes, turtles, will fall victim. He's going to go ahead and try, now I say try, to open up the alligator's mouth. With over 2,000 pounds of pressure per square inch and jaw closing strength, believe me, <laughs> there's no way to open the gator's mouth. So he's going to probably open it on his own, giving him a chance to bite. Bert, you keep your fingers and hands out of the way. If he succeeds in this, you'll be able to see right into the throat of the alligator. You'll notice in the back, there's a, there's a flap of skin covering it up. Kind of shaped like a half moon. Did everybody see that? Point to it, bro. <laughs> it allows them to bite beneath the water without drowning. It closes the throat, you see there. No water will pass through. While it's teeth, there's 80 of them. 40 on top, 40 on the bottom are sharp, pointy teeth. They don't chew up their food like we do. They just grab it. If it's too large to swallow, they'll rip it apart. Usually he's spinning around or shaking it side to side. Good job, man. Put your hands together for him. He's keeping his fingers. Yeah. Yeah, we got something else still to bring out, but before that, he's going to try something here for you. So you got a camera, want to get it ready? This is something the Seminole Indians come up with, too, right here in Florida, almost 200 years ago. As a means of survival, they would go out in the swamps catching gators. They would often sell the hide, the meat. But as well, they would perform different things. And this is called the bulldog, a technique they came up with while catching gators. See, they go out in the swamp, catch one, bring it back to their camp alive. Now they want to tie up the mouth to make them safe to kick it. Hold on to them, man. And it's easy to tie a gator's mouth if you had your partner. This one would hold the jaw, but the partner tied it. <laughs> well, but the partner here is not getting the shoes wet. I forgot my water shoes. Hey, you know, there was time to go alone, like him. And they were faced with a problem. How are they gonna hold the mouth shut and then let go to tie a rope? <laughs> I'm not sure which one figured it out, but they call it the bulldog. He's not gonna use a rope, you don't need to tie it. Just for your pictures, he's gonna show you how it's done. Because believe it or not, what they do after they hopped on, and they had to control the gator. They'd hold the jaw shut and then place it, take your time, right between their chin and their chest. With that pressure alone, they would then let go to tie the rope. There's your photo, folks. <laughs> Hold it, Bert. <laughs> Hold the oh, smile. Quickly with a rope, they wrap it around the jaw and secure it shut. Good job, Whoa. Put your hands together one more time. That's how it is. He used to have a double chin. <laughs> He's going to hop off the gator and set him free. Put your hands together for him. He worked hard for you. Or in now.